Bismillah Rahman Rahim, dear viewers, today we will see how to create Parlins and Parlin connection in Advanced Steel. In previous tutorials, we have seen how to model this steel structure in Advanced Steel. That playlist link I will provide in the description section below this tutorial. So today we will see how to create multiple Parlins and multiple Parlin connection in this structure. So let's start. From home tab, here we will get this option Parlins, or in extended modeling, here we will get this option for Parlin creation. From here, we can click on this, then select object on top of which the Parlins will be modeled. Then right click, it will ask if we want to select a reference point or not i will click on no if we want to select an additional reference beam or not we will select no now parlins created we can edit our parlins parameter section size we can change this shape if we want to model z shape then we can select this one then we can select the section size i will go with c section so i will select c and section size i will select 160 by 2.5 alignment here we want to change the direction of Parlin from here invert section like this it will change its direction and here we can see the Parlin generated from center line to center line at the end of Parlin set if we want to extend it up to the end beam flange then we can go to reference outer edge it will come up to the end beam flange edge we can modify spacing from here from here also we can see or we can go to 2d frame view here from here we can go to distance start distance from this side i will choose 300 millimeter intermediate spacing or distance one meter last to eve this distance in between last parlin to this parlin we'll make it one meter like this we can go to conceptual view 3d select the beams then right click no no like this if we want to match this parlin section and parlin parameters with this side parlins what we can do double click on this to see the Parlin properties this Parlin section and other parameters we can save it into library here click on save values okay now this one we can use for this side Parlin set double click on this then go to library select this one see this changed now for this parlin set we want to change the direction of 
Orleans. Double click on this. Go to alignment. Unmark this one invert section like this. In this way, we can mass this side Orleans similar to this side Orleans. Okay, now we can go to conceptual view. Go to 3D. Now we can create side parlance. Click on parlance, then click on the columns. Right click, no, no. We will choose same section but distance 300 900 900 like this this one also we can save it into library save values okay then go to opposite side Click on Parlin, select the columns, right click, no, no, this side Parlin, we can mess with this side, so double click on this then go to library select this one we can go to front side 2d wireframe this side parlance section 160 2.5 distance like this 300 900 this side parlance also same this section and distance 300 900 if we want to change the direction of parlin we can go to alignment invert section same double click on this alignment invert section so in this way we can create multiple parlins in advanced steel now we will go for multiple parlin connection now go to connection vault click on this first i will go for single Parlin plate this one first select beam then right click then select Parlin then right click now we can modify this Parlin connection property Parlin cleat air thickness is distance 20 make it 50 this side 20 bolt dimension start distance this one will make it 40 intermediate distance we will make it 80 we will change our edge distance 40 and this side 45 or make it 40 if we want to provide single plate welded to the beam we can do that one Go to rib stiffener. This one rib stiffener. 
click on this then this will be as a single plate so from here go to this option then create by template multiple click on this select object this connection object click on this then right click then select objects this one right click then parlance this one right click like this this side also we can do in similar way click on this select this one then right click then select objects first beam right click then parlance then right click so this also done for intermediate parlance go to connection vault we can click on double parlin splice plate connection click on this then select beam right click parlin right click parlin right click okay now here go to rib stiffener click on this edge distance 40 40 and bolt start distance 40 intermediate 80 done okay now from this connection plate we can copy this connection to other parlance click on this then select the connection object right click then from here select the beam right click then parlance one side parlin first right click other side parlin right click okay in similar way we can create this connection for all other parlance at the same time let's see how to do that one click on this create by template multiple then select the object of the template then right click then we will select beam first here this beam finished so skip that one select this this all the beams we have selected then right click then we will select parting of one side this one side then joint will be here with this other side parting so this side we will select later
we have selected one side of joint right click now we will select other side purlins we can do this easily by filtering our object and isolate in another view then we can select all the parlins by dragging the mouse now as we have other members that's why we have to select by single click second side parlin selection finished we can do right click so now done at the same time all the parlin joint connection generated see here all the parlins for this side connection single connection we can copy from here click on this select object right click then select beams right click right click done in this way we will provide parlin connection for side parlins also so in this way we can create multiple parlins and multiple parlin connection in advanced steel so this is our tutorial number three for modeling this steel structure in previous two tutorials we have modeled this steel members with foundation and connection so stay tuned with decode bd and get important tutorials from us press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update